Hello there and welcome to another One Man and His Dog Photo Adventures. Today I've left Betsy in the car. We have a lot of sheep here, which are probably in you now. Probably in lamb. Um, so I'm only going to be here literally 10-15 minutes, so Betsy's stopping in the car today. I'm just on my way to my daughter's, it's Boxing Day, so Merry Christmas and Merry Happy Boxing Day to everybody. Um, I've just come across this beautiful little scene on the River Dee. Um, don't know where I am at the moment, I'm just outside Corwin. Um, it looks absolutely stunning. I'm loving this white water, the way the bubbles are just swirling. I have got a polarising filter to try and take some glare off. Join me shortly, I'll find some compositions. So, just trying to find a composition. Um, I've just took a photograph with this little bit of grass and rocks just in the foreground. Um, and then I've just literally moved to my left just a couple of feet. I'll just turn around. And I found a couple more little rocks. But we are shooting into the sun, which is quite disappointing. Um, I'm not sure the photographs are going to come out any good so I'm going to be a little walk around I do want to try and incorporate all the white water all the bubbles and stuff but it's just looking a bit sketchy for getting it. it's quite deep this is the river's in flood so I'm going to have a walk just along the river just a little bit and see if we can find anything there are loads of rocks for a beautiful foreground um, the problem I'm having is I'm shooting straight into the sun which never the best but if it's all I've got then it's all I've got it is an absolutely stunning little scene this is and again just walking along the river just literally 20 yards I've now come across another composition that I would love maybe better because the sun now is slightly towards my left hand side um, let me just walk down to these rocks just try not to slip and fall in the river um, I'll just show you these pebbles I'm now going to try and compose these rocks with a little bit of white water and the bridge there is some beautiful lights underneath the bridge now. The sun is breaking through. We've got a fair bit of blue sky. It's supposed to be cloudy all day. So I'm going to set up here now. At least the sun is to my left hand side. There's a little bit of rain just coming, so I may have to uh, cut this a bit short. But yeah, I'll try and find a composition here and I'll talk you through it when I do. So I'll just talk you through this little scene here. I I am going to have to bracket the photographs because it is quite dark um, and what I'm going to do I'm going to bracket and focus stack so my first shot is going to be focused on the rocks right in the very foreground underneath the bottom of the tripod and I'm shooting this I'm overexposed just over one stop at f11 and that's giving me a sixth of a second so I'm just going to take this shot now. This should just blur out the water, the six of a second. So the white water is just nice and silky. I'm now going to focus on the rock in the middle of the river. And take that shot at the same settings. I'm now going to focus the third shot on the bridge. Again, same second, same the same settings, and then just to get a slightly better sky, I am now going to shoot at zero just for the sky. As you can see, the image is dark, 
but there is a little tiny bit of detail in the sky so it's not much but there is a little bit there and I'm hoping that this shot I should just about be able to uh, get that little bit of detail in the sky I've cut most of the sky out let me just um, overexpose a bit um, as you can see I've cut a lot of the sky out it is literally the bridge I want and a foreground it looks absolutely incredible I'm struggling to get a good enough composition to uh, to make it stand out as a good shot it's one of these places that are absolutely stunning to the eye but it's so hard to get the photograph when I keep scouting about and I do think there's a good foreground with these rocks here so I'm going to work this scene just for another probably half an hour and see how I get on so I've just found another little composition I'm now using the pebbles and the round stone in the foreground just to give that detail in the foreground looking over at the bridge again I've cut the sky out uh, because it does look quite boring I will do a, a, an horizontal shot of this shortly um, but again I'm focus stacking literally on the pebbles down here on the rock and then up on the bridge and I should just blend these together in either Lightroom or Photoshop beautiful place this I'm loving it here so again I've just changed just my position just slightly I've literally walk back probably three steps and I've lifted the tripod up um, again I am cutting the sky out of the shot it does look pretty boring but I'm loving the boulder again it's a nice little shape and I like the rocks to the right hand side so I am literally just going to focus stack on this boulder to get the boulder and these rocks sharp then my second shot is going to be on the bridge I am shooting one stop overexposed because of how dark it is uh, the bridge and everything is in shade with the sun behind so rather than bracket I, uh, I'm just shooting overexposed um, I will do an underexposed or a normal exposure shot just to try and blend that little bit of sky in um, I may even just try and crop that out um, absolutely stunning scene though this is I'm going to have a walk up towards the bridge and see if I can catch some of these, these white bubbles that are floating about some, uh, just to get some nice patterns it's absolutely stunning this so time for a little walk up to the bridge um, absolutely gorgeous place this is the sheep are quite placid it's uh, not bothering, usually they, they run away from you uh, these are fine as I say I've left Betsy in the car because if the sheep are in lamb I, uh, I, I'm not going to risk her chasing them she doesn't chase them usually but as dog owners know there's always that first time so I, uh, I'm now walking around and I'm going to try I'll just turn the camera and just try and show you we have all this beautiful white water bubbles just forming shapes in the water I'm going to try and get on the bank there's a lot of debris and stuff and trees overhanging so I think I may struggle but I'm going to give it a go and see what happens so I've tried to get round and I, uh, I can't uh, well, they've got tree overhanging tree branches in the way or I'm um, just pointing straight into the sun uh, I've just noticed behind me I felt a few spots of rain looks like there's rain coming 
through the valley so I'm going to be finished here very shortly um, I've set up on the bank let me just turn around um, this is going to be my composition I'm going to try and catch this, uh, these white bubbles they look stunning they do um, just for a bit of foreground attention and then get the bridging I will do I'm going to shoot this at f16 just to slow the shutter speed down I didn't plan on doing any long exposure today so I didn't bring any ND filters with me um, let's turn the camera away from the Sun so all I've got is a polarizing filter um, just just to slow the shutter speed down a bit and get rid of glare which I'm not getting rid of much glare because I am shooting towards the Sun again um, for those who haven't used a polarizing filter yet they only work they work best at 90 degrees to the Sun if you have the Sun in front of you or behind you get very little polarization um, so just bear in mind you need to be the Sun needs to be pretty much 45 degrees or thereabouts for the polarizing filter to work best um, I'm using it just now just to take out probably half a stop of light um, and just slow the shutter speed down just enough to try and blur a little bit of these bubbles I'm shooting at f16 I may shoot at f18 I don't normally do that but what I'm after is just a, a slow enough shutter speed just to get a little bit of blur on the uh, on the bubbles the sun's just poking out again now so I'm just going to wait for a cloud just to obscure the sun and then I'm going to get this shot I'm going to focus just on some white water in the middle of the water um, everything will be focused then pretty much from under my feet to the bridge uh, so there'll be no need to focus stack this shot so yeah if it's any good I'll put it on at the end of the video well that's it for today um, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro there is rain coming through the valley now so I think it's time to pack up I was going to fly the, fly the drone um, but with the rain it's it's pretty pointless there is links to all my gear um, and the drone and everything down in the description uh, please if you like the video any questions on the video uh, please drop me a comment below and just ask and I will get back to you as soon as I can um, yeah I'm going to put the uh, photos on now so until next time please give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and take it easy.